Let's combine two last techniques in one. In first, let's add scene, add scene, and let's name it two in one. And so we're going to combine the camera and the selection section plane in one scene. We're going to have two of these. And let's start with the section plane. First, let's go there and let's say this viewpoint, say viewpoint, the first one, okay. And in our scene, let's add this selection plane button first. I have to do it, I have to make it and enable this mode and then to surface to this one, then move it, move it back. And now let's turn off not to see the side of it, not to see this gizmo. And add section plane. And now we can see it. And let's capture keyframe, the first one. Then the new time position, 5 seconds. Then let's move it. Let's move it to this round table. This round thing. Turn off the move mode. Then new keyframe. And let's change it to 10 seconds. And back to the move mode. And then OK, to the stairs. The stairs is OK. Now turn off the move and make a new keyframe. Now we are ready with this selection, section plane. And let's back to the camera and make the camera movement during these 10 seconds. So let's add camera, blank camera. We can add only one blank camera for the scene. OK done it and let's back to 10 seconds to 0 seconds and let's make a new one keyframe now it's ok then let's make the 5 seconds and now let's get closer to it let's get closer Put it here. Then let's capture the next keyframe. And then for 10 seconds, let's get closer to this one. And let's save it. Capture keyframe. And now we have in one scene. The section plane is moving and our camera is moving and let's play it. So stop and then play. And now we can see that we are moving and the section plane is moving too. So it's pretty nice technique and pretty useful to make uh, very detailed animations about a building.